Okay, this is for Island Heart Model Lab handout. And we'll start, the heart kind of sits this way. And so the apex is over here. The base is this entire area up here. The coronary sulcus goes all the way around the heart. It's this groove here. And it keeps going and going and going and going all the way around the heart. That's the coronary sulcus. And then we have the anterior in interventricle sulcus, and that's this area right here. And the posterior interventricle sulcus, that is right here. Okay, now those were external features, and we're going to now go over the major vessels of the heart. So let's look at the model up here. Here is your aorta, and then the pulmonary artery or trunk is this. The superior vena cava, this area here, it branches this way and comes up this way. That's the superior vena cava, and I'll pull from this model again to show you the inferior. The inferior comes out at the bottom there, inferior vena cava. Okay, and then we have the coronary sinus. I need to keep it on this side here because this is the coronary sinus. You can see it comes right there by the inferior vena cava, coronary sinus. These are the pulmonary veins. This is what brings the blood from the lungs back to the heart and brings oxygen with it. So the pulmonary veins on this side and the pulmonary veins on this side. The left pulmonary veins and the right pulmonary veins. Okay, now we're going to look at the right coronary artery. So let's go back to this one. And it's in that coronary sulcus. This area right there, that is the right coronary artery, and then over here, you'll see the red area under there. This whole area is the left coronary artery. Okay, let's look at the chambers of the heart. We have the left ventricle, the right ventricle, the right atrium, and I can open it up and see that better because that's technically the oracle. There is the right atrium and the right ventricle. Open this up. The left ventricle and the left atrium. Okay, since we've got it open, let's look at the interior features and valves of the heart. On this side over here, we have the bicuspid or the mitral valve. That is the bicuspid is in the left ventricle. The tricuspid is in the right ventricle. The pulmonary semilunar valve, you can see because as the right atrium sends the blood into the right ventricle, it then will shoot up into that pulmonary trunk that we had already talked about. This is the pulmonary trunk, but it has to go through the semilunar valve first, the pulmonary semilunar valve, and that is this one right there. You see the three areas. Okay, and then we want to look at the aortic semilunar valve. So we're going to flip this over. Ooh! <laughs> and it is the 104, 105, 106, if you can't, if you can see that. Mm -hmm. And what that does is after the blood comes back into the pulmonary arteries, from the lung, it's oxygen it goes into the left um, atrium, into the left ventricle, and then goes up. And you can see the 
thing where I'm going to come out. This is the aortic semilunar valve. So I'm coming up into the aorta. And if I shut it, you can see once again that that is the aorta on the outside. So inside there is the aortic semilunar valve. Okay? Looking in the ventricle, you see how much thicker the myocardium is on this side, and that's the dead giveaway that that is the left side of the heart, the left ventricle, as opposed to the right ventricle, which the myocardium is much smaller. And then this large portion right here in the middle separates the two ventricles, and this is called the interventricular septum. Okay, let's look at this valve right here and um, the bicuspid valve and we want to see that the papillary muscles are these enlargements right here here's another enlargement right here that's a papillary muscle this is what's going to attach the cordonae tendinae and it's kind of like this pink area on the valve those would come down and they would attach to the papillary muscles okay and the last thing is the pectinate muscles and that's up here in our atrium. The left atria here, you can see how they run up and down. This is the pectinate muscles. Here it is on the right side, all these ones that run up and down. As the blood is flowing from the right atrium into the left, um, excuse me, the right um, ventricle, these pectinate muscles just give it an extra little oomph to squeeze the blood down to continue filling up the um, ventricles. And that is all that we have to know for our class. I hope that helped.